AMC Breaking Records. Hello, beautiful people. Shalom, money makers. I want to talk to you guys about AMC stock, about what's happening with the stock market, what happened today with the unemployment reports, why it's a bad thing, but a good thing. All I ask is that you give me a beautiful smile. Smishity smash that like button because the likes help the youtube algorithm or some nonsense <laughs> and now everybody's favorite part let's dance into it so amc ended up closing at 13 dollars and 10 cents up 4.38 percent on the day still the price is pulled back down 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 it has so much room for recovery AMC has at this point lots of potential to get back to higher levels. But the question is, will the short sellers allow this? We get into a situation where the price has been knocked down significantly. Retail is in shambles. People are depressed. New money is not coming in, right? When does new money come in? Either when there's hype, right? Or there's big runs. And we don't have this and we don't have this. If AMC, for example, will run, let's say from 10 to 20, right? That could 100% run. That could enter, you know, some people that are interested in stocks, people that are interested in, in AMC. Uh, and that could, you know, trigger a little bit of excitement, which could move a little bit buying pressure. Now, most of the action that we are seeing is AMC shareholders that are buying more at these lower levels day traders that are trading AMC because of the volatility. Yes, there's lots of volatility in AMC stock. And of course, short sellers that are trying and algos that are trying to manipulate the price of AMC. So it'll be interesting to see. There's no trading on Monday. It's a short, it's a long weekend. Rest up, get ready for next week. Um, and it will be interesting to see what happens because AMC is breaking records. We're going to get to that in just a second. But first, I want to talk about what happened today in the market in general right unemployment reaches 18 month high for good reasons the rise in unemployment in august came for more americans entering the labor market this is an interesting situation i'm going to pull it out for a second on the one hand we have high unemployment on the other hand we have high job openings say to yourself wait a second there's high job openings high unemployment this doesn't you know it doesn't work together if there's high jobs opening Unemployment should be low. We have a situation where the jobs that are open aren't the best jobs. People that went through the pandemic don't want to go back to these hard jobs. They said, oh, I stayed at home. I got the money from the government. Why should I go back to flipping burgers? I am going to create my own business. So, for example, they might be still getting unemployment, but they're starting their own business. And they're not going back to work flipping burgers. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with flipping burgers. It's great as a, an entry job. But at the end of the day, we don't want to do that for all of our life, right? So we have a situation that's, that's happening. And the Fed is getting very, very horny with this, <laughs> with this high unemployment. Why? Because high unemployment means that people have less money to spend. If they have less money to spend, then producers distributors they're going to reduce prices because their sales are going to go down high unemployment people aren't using their money then they need to bring prices down because their bottom line is shrinking what happens inflation starts going down and of course inflation has a lot of components to it you have housing you have gas and and, and form uh, uh, you know and others which have you know, a sway about what the inflation is going to be. The Fed wants to get it to 2%. It's going to be hard. We're at 3-ish percent now. High unemployment needs to happen. If the producers don't bring down the price, it's going to be very hard because the producer is like, hey, why should I bring down the price? I'm still making nice money here, right? Why should I bring it down? People are still buying. But if people stop buying, producers have no, they can't do it. It might take six months. It might take a year for them to start reducing prices, but that's basically what's going to happen. So the Fed in its statements, uh, the federal chairman in his statements in the recent uh, Jackson Hole speech said one thing that they are emphasizing significantly is the job market and the cooling of the job market. That means high unemployment, of course. On the one hand, it's bad. On the other hand, it's good confusing situation.
Now, AMC stock, right? Breaking records. Taylor Swift, the Eric Tour concert film, shatters advanced ticket sales record at AMC theaters. 26 million in ticket revenue sold on Thursday. Guys and gals, AMC pulled a brilliant move here. Why? Taylor Swift is a phenomenon. People love her. Running to her concerts. But AMC, they negotiated the deal straight with Taylor Swift and her family. They just, the family decided to distribute the video, the, uh, the movie themselves, not with a, um, uh, a studio, meaning that they get to keep all the money. They made a deal with AMC. I think it was 54, 46, something like that, where AMC is raking in most of the revenue of the movie in general. When AMC puts out movies on their screens, they're, they're breaking even right on these movies the studios make most of the money and amc makes money on the concession in this scenario amc is making a is gonna, gonna make a lot of money on the tickets and the concession so it's a double whammy this could grow their profits in the short term right this is not a long-term thing but in the short term significantly and we could see when is it coming out uh, next quarter uh da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da -ba -ba. <laughs> It's coming out sometime, right? It's on Friday the 13th, uh, October 13th, right? Um, so it's going to be actually the last quarter of the year and that could boost the revenue of the last quarter of the year significantly. And if this damn, I know it's it's important, right? The actors, and it's not just the A-list actors, but the D-list actors and the G-list actors, the people that have small, small parts and the people that work in production, they need to have normal working uh, environment and normal working uh you know um what's it called um you know things right <laughs> that's not the word that i wanted environment working environment right but all right at the end of the day the studios and the people need to get to an agreement that's what happens when you have a union so hopefully they get it done soon and the movies don't get delayed too much. But if they do get delayed, I think AMC has a fastball here. Just bring back old movies. If they have the studios agree to this, and we've seen this recently with Jurassic Park and with others, they can, uh, Batman, they can, they can put these movies on. Spider-Man, No Way Home, put it on again. What's the problem, right? People will come in to watch it again. And so that's... The, the thing that could save maybe the, the earnings of AMC. So it'll be interesting to see. Now, Adam also tweeted about this um, and saying, Taylor, 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 record setting Swift, Taylor Swift, great, great, available October 13th through mid-November. And all are reasonably priced at $20 for adults and $13 for children, seniors plus tax. Get your tickets now. Where's the tweet about the situation of the stock? Nothing, nada, quiet. I have, have a, a few... Uh, <laughs> I have a few thoughts on this. Um, he needs to say something. I don't understand why he's not saying something. It could be because the lawyers are saying don't say anything. But if it's not because of the lawyers, he needs to say something. Right? The stock has recovered, gone up 30% from the low. But still, um, the stock has gone down significantly since the, 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 the split. They're waiting on the raising of the money i think they want to see how the stock price kind of levels out see a little bit of stabilization and then they're going to probably start um raising money of course ideally you want to raise money when the price is at 30 40 50 but in the real world he doesn't know if that's gonna happen right so they might be talking about a situation where maybe even next week they come out with, they need, of course, a partner, someone to buy the stock or sell it to the, the market, which is a less preferred option. But if they have someone that's willing to buy these, these shares and to raise the money, then they need to come up with a price. And I don't want them to jump the gun here and just do it fast and furious when they could raise a lot more money. Um, there's this theory here that uh, Taylor Swift's dad is actually an ape. So she said recently, my dad is a stockbroker. Taylor Swift said recently in the YouTube video, he lives and breathes it. My dad is so passionate about what he does. Like in the way I'm passionate about music, he is so hung for his job and I saw how happy it made him. It just though, I like, I can't broke stocks. 
Um, so maybe he's in a, maybe he wants to, you know, help AMC stock out here at AMC as a company. It'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Before we get to the Ortex numbers, I want to remind you guys about our partner Mumu that is giving out 15 free stocks plus one Tesla or Google share. You can trade stocks, you can trade options. Link is in the description down below if you live in the US, Australia, and now Canada. Canadians, don't miss out. So what's going on with Ortex? The numbers are still kind of whacked, right? The cost to borrow has dropped significantly. That actually makes sense, but the days to cover, the shares on loan, the estimated short interest shouldn't have changed too much. It could be because of the addition of eight, but I think that when the FINRA numbers will come in, we'll get a little bit more clarity about what's happening here. And then we can be a little bit smarter about these numbers. Currently, AMC is still on the threshold list. Maybe by next week, it will be off because of the rise that we saw. Uh, two days ago, right? It could be that that the FTDs were covered on that day, and it takes uh, T plus two, I think, to to update on the threshold list. So maybe ne by next week we'll see AMC finally off the threshold list for better or for worse, right? And we'll see where the price of AMC could potentially go. The stock market uh, ate up what happened here today with the job market, pretty flat. As you can see, the stochastic full is pretty high for the stock market. Whoops. And there's high probability that we will see the stock market pull back a little bit. So don't be too surprised if that actually happens. Don't forget to smash the like button. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you next time. Don't forget to smash the like button. I said that already. <laughs> like I always say, let's make a lot of money.